One eternity later. Hi guys, Jake here again, and today I thought I'd decide to record a chest and shoulder workout for you guys because I was looking about on YouTube and there's no like shorter videos for this, they're all like 30 minutes long. So I hope you guys like the style of this video. If you do, then let me know in the comments and that way I can record some more videos on my split for you guys. We are currently on week two of the bulk. I'm looking a little bit fluffy already because I had a week of just literally eating anything I had in sight that I wanted. So that was cake, biscuits, sweets, chocolate, you name it, I had it. Obviously though, back to normal now, strict diet, 3,400 calories, high carbs. If you guys want me to make a video on my diet, then just let me know in the comments because I'd be more than happy to show you guys some tips on my cut and also some tips on how I bulk. But yeah, that's enough of the intro. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll do a little voiceover and show you guys some clips of the gym. And then at the end, I'll show you guys a little physique update. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So first off, we're gonna start with the Smith Machine Incline Chest Press. Now this will do my upper chest and as you guys can see I do three sets on this. I'm keeping it nice and short so I'll only show you two or three reps for each set. Next up we've got incline dumbbell chest press. Now this also targets my upper chest and a little bit in the lower chest. I stopped doing bench press through my bulk just because I don't want to risk injury. I'll probably bring that back towards the end just because I like pushing heavy weights. But I do this three sets of 12. My strength is starting to come up quite a bit on this now. Uh, before, on my last bulk, I was doing 40 kilogram dumbbells for three sets of 12. And so far we're back up to 30s. And I'm sure within the next few weeks we'll be back up to those big 40s. Now we've got three sets of the plate loaded PEC fly machine. This is an incredible machine. And if you guys aren't lucky enough to have one in your gym, and you can just do normal dumbbell flies. But this, I've never felt anything like it on my chest. It's incredible. Next up is next size I've been doing through my cut because I didn't want to risk injury doing normal dumbbell shoulder press. But this is the Smith Machine shoulder press where I load 40 kilograms on each side. I do three sets of 12 on this or until failure. I switched to this through my cut because we didn't want to risk injury too close to me being on stage. And I thought I'd stick with it through my bulk and see how it develops my doubts. Now this is something also new I've been doing through my cut. It is the dumbbell rear delt flies this has been in my split for the past just over a month i'd say and they're building my rear delts very nicely but i do need to keep practicing to make sure i bend my elbows a little bit when doing this to make sure it doesn't bring in unnecessary muscles such as my traps and to isolate my rear delt Now we're on to the king of all doubt exercises. This is the lateral raise. And I've only just recently started doing it with the cable machine. I felt I've been getting some crazy pumps from it and I've already noticed some crazy doubt development from it. And since it's with the cable machine, my doubts are constantly under tension, meaning I'll get the most growth out of them. Okay then guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything I can improve on, please let me know down in the comment section below. If you'd like to continue supporting me on my road to my bodybuilding competition for the British finals at PCA, then please make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe. I've currently got my Cheerios. I'm gonna eat these and then I'm gonna go to bed.
If you've got any videos you'd like me to make in the future, then make sure to also comment those. I'll now leave you guys to watch some of my posing and my physique update. And as for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate if you could hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing.